So in the last video on the Pi board radio, I mentioned that my Taylor detector component uh, was having uh, some problems performing poorly, uh, didn't have great uh, uh, wrong side band suppression, and I wanted to replace it. So I went ahead uh, and did that, and actually, um, actually uh, got some some boards printed off at uh, JLC PCB. So uh, so they arrived, and I thought I'd. Uh, Thought I'd basically populate them and uh, sort of retest the radio and, and see see where we end up. So here's a, a populated board here. Uh, it's similar to the last uh, board design that you saw. So you can see here's the input signal here. Here's the bandpass filter coming through here. Here's the uh, FST3253 right here, which is the multiplexer demultiplexer. There's the uh, sample capacitors and, and resistors, uh, and here's the uh, the the op amp amplifier. Now, one of the changes that I did do on the board, and let me just zoom right in there so you can so you can see that a little bit better, uh, is I kind of got tired of running the uh, the coax uh, between the SI fifty three fifty one synthesizer board and uh, you know and the Taylor detector itself. So I decided on this board to to actually mount the uh, SI fifty three fifty one directly on the board. Uh, that would uh, that's going to give me uh, you know basically a direct line. And keep all the RF on the board. So you can see here the only thing that's coming into the board. Well, actually, you can't see that. Let me move the camera over a little bit. So all that's coming in from the microcontroller now is the I2C uh, signals and ground. And so just a, a final note on this, and uh, I do have some spares of these boards uh, lying around. I got two or three lying around. So uh, if you're interested in getting one, um, I don't know what the mail uh, is going to be like, but uh, you know, just uh, send me a, a send me an email on the uh, email address I have in the uh, in the about section on, on YouTube, and I'll see if I can get one out to you. No, no promises. I, I don't know what the mail is for this sort of thing. Uh, I'll probably have to restrict it to US and Canada, um, but but we'll see. I'll I'll find out what the mail is. But yeah, if you if you're interested in uh, grabbing a hold of one of these boards, just uh, just send me a note. So let's move on now, and uh, we'll check the performance and the sideband suppression of the board. Um, using my uh, my trusty signal generator here. One of the other changes that I made is I, I, re I did reconfigure the bandpass filter to be 20 meters instead of uh, 40 meters, which was in the last board. And uh, you know, this is where I uh, got to give a definite shout out to the QRP labs. Uh, my bandpass filter is uh, creatively borrowed from the QRP labs bandpass filter, and I'll include a link below to the uh, to the QRP lab site where they actually sell the bandpass filter. Uh, and, and that bandpass filter can cover all the bands from 160 up to uh, up to I think 10 meters. Uh, but anyway, don't quote me on that. To start with is injecting a minus 60 dBm signal uh, in there. I've actually already got that uh, in there. And uh, just a few little notes while while I'm going through here. I did uh, change quite a bit of the uh, the software that controls the uh, the LCD and display here. So I've got. Uh, a feature where you can click on the button and you can change the uh, change the radix here. So if I wanted to go up to 300, click there, move, and so on and so forth. Uh, also, uh, I added a feature where it displays which sideband you're on, either upper or lower sideband. So you can see I'm on upper sideband at the moment. I press that button and it goes down to the lower sideband. So that's just some uh, simple stuff that I put in there. And again, all the software's uh, I'll provide a link to that. It's all up on my GitHub repo. I did also include some, um, I had some uh, debounce problems in there. So I uh, took a hold of one of the Arduino um, uh, debounce pieces of software and, uh, and I used that. And it's, uh, it pr pretty successfully debounces um, the, uh, the button clicks. So let's go ahead and inject that signal. It's currently coming in at 14.2 uh, megahertz. And we're on upper sideband, so if I tune down, let me turn the speaker up. If I tune down, I should hear that signal. So you can hear that. Let me turn the speakers down a little bit. So that's a very strong signal coming through there. And you can, you can hear that, so that's a one kilohertz tone. And as I turn, tune down, the tone goes up, which is what you should expect on a on an upper sideband uh, signal. But let's go to the other side. Let's let's see what the uh, sideband suppression is like. So let me tune above 14.2, and you can barely hear it. 
I'll be quiet so you can hear it. But that is the suppressed lower sideband signal. So you can see it's doing a pretty good job. Let's compare it to the, there's the actual signal. And there's the suppressed signal. So that basically is, is exactly the improvement that I was looking for in the, um, let me just turn that down a little bit. That was exactly the improvement I was looking for um, uh, you know, when, it, when I had those problems with the previous Talo detector. So what I'm going to do now is uh, um, uh, it's getting towards time when 20 meters picks up. So what I'm going to do now is just go into the office and hook it up to an antenna and, uh, and let's hear some uh, real on the air stuff. So unfortunately there's not uh, really that much going on 20 meters at the moment, but uh, that is a pretty strong signal up right at the very very top of the band, uh, 347, 14.347, um, top of the bands, the 14.350, um, so that's right at the edge there. Um, there, are, there are some other signals going on there, but uh, like I said, not much, uh, not much going on on 40 meters. But, uh, Anyway, um, I'm quite happy with the way this uh, with the way this turned out. The uh, the lower sideband suppression is pretty good on it, and uh, you know, uh, like I said, uh, I'll include links to the software and the boards uh, below. And I hope you enjoyed this video.